So we're starting the head, work our way downward here. So right here we have the masseter. This is temporalis. Then, collected back out of the way here, this very thin muscle that was like this originally was platysma. Reflect that back. We have three trapezius muscles, clavotrapezius, acromiotrapezius, and spinotrapezius. Further down on the back, we had our bacon muscle, better known as cutaneous maximus. The muscles we just saw today down here, near the mink's thigh, the posterior thigh, gluteus maximus. Right in here, we had caudofemoralis. This is biceps femoris. Collected biceps femoris back like this. We saw tenuissimus. Then, remember our landmark, sciatic nerve sitting right on top of the semi-membranosus. Then by the tail, the semi-tendinosus. Back to the mink's calf region, we have the gastronemius. One last muscle you can see very well in this view here, kind of hiding up in here somewhere. Oh, there it is, the coffee muscle. Tensor fascia latte right in here. Okay, so we all got these muscles. Let's go back here, look at some deeper muscles. So pull back our clavo and acromiotrapezius. We have deep muscles found first in the mink's neck. So from medial to lateral here, this is rhomboidius cervicus, rhomboidius capitis, or occipitoscapularis. The next muscle is atlantoscapularis. Going out to the mink's shoulder now, this muscle is levator scapula, also called homo cervicalis. And then down here, the deepest one was clidomastoid. Also, just deep to our rhomboidius capitis, the muscle you can see on either side here, is the splenius, or you could say splenius capitis, like the term we would use in humans. Okay? What else shows up nicely here? Two muscles in the mink's shoulder region. One is a rotator cuff muscle. This is supraspinatus. Right at the very tip of the shoulder right here, this is a chromiodeltoid. So the little muscle with the very tip of chromiodeltoid, the much bigger muscle is supraspinatus. Okay? What else do we see here? Another deltoid muscle. This is spinodeltoid, exactly. So spinodeltoid right in here. Then you can see it on the other side of the mink. What was this big muscle in the mink's back here called? Latissimus dorsi. Very nice, way back in this region. So then you see some muscles here on the mink's side and back region. The first one here, this is serratus anterior or serratus ventralis. This then would be serratus dorsalis or serratus posterior. Then lastly, the big long muscle here was sacrospinalis. Okay? And then in the mink's arm here, we also see some lateral muscles. So first, everybody's favorite long name muscle, dorso epitrochlearis. Right? Then triceps long head, not medial, not on this side. This is the triceps long head, triceps lateral head. Hiding right in here, this muscle right at the very tip of the probe, that's the brachialis. Then here in the mink's forearm, this would be brachioradialis, exactly. So one more time, dorso epitrochlearis, triceps long head, triceps lateral head, and brachialis, very good. And, I'm sorry, brachioradialis. Right, now we'll look at some ventral muscles. Turn this mink around here. So the mink's chest region, we have a couple different muscles. First, right in here is pectoralis minor, pectoralis major, and then up here in the mink's shoulder, this is clavodeltoid. Or you can see them on this side where they've all been cut here. Again, pectoralis minor, Pectoralis major, right in here is clavodeltoid. So one, two, three muscles, okay? Then up here in the mink's neck, two muscles coming down like a V here. These are the two sternomastoid muscles. Open them up. Inside here we have two parallel running sternohyoid muscles. A little bit further up with our mink, up towards the head. In the middle here, this is mylohyoid. These two are digastric muscles, exactly, right? So then we're gonna look up here at the mink's arm, look 